thought I'd drop in and chat with you a few minutes. I hope your day's going great. Mine, as you can tell, I look like I've been hit by a truck, but I've been doing laundry and cleaning house. So try to bear with me when it comes to my appearance, okay? Anyway, I just wanted to stop in. Uh, I am going to do uh, the rest of the disciples. i just taking a little tiny break. You know, you can get real deep in that stuff. But anyway, I just wanted to talk to you about a few things that uh, are strange. There's been a lot of strange things going on. And I wanted to include that in this video, and I will include that later in the video. You'll see what I'm talking about. You will also, let me tell you this, you will see uh, this guy... He takes a small, medium, and large drink from McDonald's. The small drink is full. He takes it, pours it into the medium cup, which fills it up. Then he takes the medium cup and pours it into the large and fills it up. And that really is true because I did that at, at uh, McDonald's. It's been a while back, but I did that. I was like, this, from now on, I just get small. You know, the regular size drink. Why well, pay all that extra? You ain't getting nothing. Anyway, there's a lot of new stuff that uh, a lot of animals that they're discovering. Uh, that they've never seen before. Just people don't know what they are. And uh, there's been a lot of people act completely strange. I'm talking cuckoo people, buddy. Way out there. You know, just crazy, like they're possessed. And I wouldn't doubt if they wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I think there's more to that corona thing than what we see. There's more to that. There's just something ain't right about that, people. That's my opinion now. What I mean by that is, all right, when people get come down when they was getting sick with corona at the beginning... Well, they got it where you can't go to the hospital. I mean, am I the only one that sees this or is nobody just saying nothing about it or what? But if you're sick, that's where you're supposed to go. Am I right? You go to the hospital if something's wrong with you. Well, in our area, if you show up and uh, all that stuff, they send you away. Yeah, you just basically go home and die. You know what I'm saying? Wrong. You don't do that to people. But evidently, they're getting by with it, and people's letting them get by with it. I thought if you're sick, you're supposed to go to the hospital. But, you know, they're not. And, like, for example, let's say I took my husband to the emergency room, and he was sick. I wouldn't be allowed to go in there with him. They send me away. They wouldn't let me go in. That's what they're doing. If you do go there. You know. Then you see on uh, TikTok. And all, on Facebook. And on YouTube. All these videos of these nurses and doctors. Making videos for TikTok and stuff. Dancing and all this stuff. I'm sorry. But what the freak are they getting paid for? If they ain't nobody there. They act like hospitals are overrun with patients of corona. But yet, you go to the doctor and they make you leave. Not the doctor, the emergency room. They make you leave. Something ain't right, people. I'm telling you, it, 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 something's wrong. Something's off. And to me, y'all think I'm crazy if you want to. I mean, it, you wouldn't be the first person, I promise you. To think that I'm off my dang rocker. But. To me. The color. Colors are different. Like. The grass that you see behind me. Looks fake to me. Not the grass. The color of the grass. Look. It's a different color green. Do you people not see that? I mean it's green. But it's like a step up from green than what it's supposed to be or something. It's a different colored green. 
I know. And here my brother now. Shut up, retard. <laughs> but that's the truth. That's the way I... It's, it looks to me. And, and the people are getting so rude. I went through a drive through the other day, and I'm not joking, to get some food. Now, my husband's disabled, and so it don't take a lot of food. So I just went and got a thing at Pizza Hut of um, pasta marinara, the family size. So we could split that, and we're good for dinner, you know. So that's what I did. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> no, that's not Corona. <clears throat> I went through the drive through and ordered my food. And the guy at the window, and I'm not joking, was rude as I'll get out. I mean, exceptionally rude. Um, you know, he said I gave him my order because you have to give the order and then I didn't want to sit in line for 20 minutes so I thought, well, I'll run across the street to the store and get a few more things while I'm waiting on that to get done, right? So I, I, I told him what I wanted. He said it'd be about 20 minutes. I'm like, cool, I'll be back. So I went across the road, got what little bit I had to get and I come back and I'm in line. I pull up her and he hands it to me out the window. And I was like, okay. And I said, uh, let me tell you, let me back up. When I ordered my food, I said, I need the family size pasta marinara. And this is what he done. That's what he done. He goes. And I said, and that will be all. He went, so let me get this straight. You do not want bread breadsticks or cheese sticks. I said, no, I don't. Well, he said, well, why didn't you say so? I'm telling you, people. I was like, Whew. so I said, uh, I'll be back to pick it up. And when I come back, he just hands it to me like that. Out the window. It comes in a box, you know. I handed him my card to pay for my food, and he just went like that with my card. And uh, as soon as I got my card, he slammed the window shut. Not no, thank you, come again, or none of that crap. You talk about furious. I went black, just like that. My temper went whew, right out the roof of my head. I thought, this fool don't know I'll climb through that window and smack him in the head. You know, in a way. That's what I'm saying. Right now, everybody's talking about how they're all tired of being stuck at home and all this other stuff. But let me tell you something. This is the calm part of it. Wait till all of these frustrated people that's been locked in, stuck at home with all these screaming kids and a nagging old lady and a nagging husband and all this stuff. And all these people come out of their homes and hit the public, it's going to get bad. I'm not joking, people. There are already the ones that you run into out in public are hateful as I'll get out. And they're smart alecks. They don't give a crap. They don't. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> they really don't. Let me tell you this. I, was at, I went down the food line the other night. And I, th I was looking for rubbing alcohol because that's going to make my own sanitizer. I've seen this thing online where you get the recipe, you know, put everything together. So that's what I've done. Got, and I needed a bottle of alcohol, which is hard to find in this freaking town. But I found a bottle. But anyway, that was that food line. And there's this lady there, an old, older lady. She wasn't feeble or nothing, but she was an older lady. And she dropped something. Well, I just read being over to get it to give it to her, you know, where she dropped it in the floor to help her pick it up or whatever. She said, just put it back over there. I wanted to throw it and smack her right in the head with it. I thought, how rude are you? You're welcome, is what I wanted to say. God. I know that, you know, people's all worried about corona, and I'm not saying take it lightly or none of that stuff. But... 
it's like the kindness and niceness and being polite and showing manners don't exist anymore. It really don't. They just, I mean, you know, it's like this. I think we walk amongst a bunch of demons all the time. I really do. And they look like we do. They look like humans. But they ain't. I can tell you that right now. I got to get me a drink. <clears throat> I drink milk. All the time. Milk's good for you. Anyway, what I was going to tell you. There's just a lot of strange stuff. And uh, I've seen that where they're talking about that Bill, Bill Gates guy come up with that ID 2020. And uh, I'll let you look at it for yourself. But, um, oh, another thing, too, the Pope of our, at the Roman, Roman Catholic Church, uh, he denied Christ. You know, used to, you had to go through the Pope to pray now the Pope's saying you don't have to do that anymore be you know a vicar of Christ if you want to look at it what that is is they say you know how you have to go in that little booth and if you're Catholic and tell them all your sins and then they're supposed to pray for you or whatever well the Pope's saying now that you can pray to Jesus yourself which I do but anyway like I didn't know that already Anyhow, um, I meant to give a big shout out to my brother and sister-in-law, and uh, thank you for my mask. Probably saved my life. It probably has, but thank you very much. Brothers can be good sometimes, <laughs> but yeah. I do feel like it's gonna be things gonna be different. They're not. It's not gonna be the same as it has been, people. I really don't feel like it will be. It's gonna be a lot of changes, and I think people's gonna change. It's gonna be a lot of people's gonna wake up, you know, to things going on around them that they never really took time to notice. Look at it this way: they had that big major outbreak of the flu or something back in 1913 or something like that. They didn't make everybody go in their house and shut the door. Something's not right about that corona thing and I'm going to tell you it's a, it's like a bacterial thing like the look at like the flu. It's not like the flu. It's it progresses faster than the flu it, which is why it's so turned into a pandemic. But the thing is, um, they don't do all this stuff for the flu. Before, you you can tell every time it's flu season, because if you have to go to a mercy room, you got all these people sitting around coughing and hacking and sneezing and all this, and it's flu season. Everybody's just got used to it being flu season. I guess it's okay to go to mercy room, man. But it ain't now. I don't understand that. Y'all don't think that's weird? I think it's just weird, man. It's weird. And I know it's very contagious, but the flu's contagious, too. I mean, I know that, it, that the coronavirus kills people faster or whatever. But I think there's more to come with it. I don't think it's just going to disappear. Because that sucker will come back eventually. Mark it down that I say that. That's just the way things work. And like I was telling you, I did that video about a few months back about every year past four years on February 11th that I've had I had a face mask on. Do you not think that's strange? It's been every day. And let me tell you another thing. I meant to tell this in that other video, but I'll tell you now. I came home from my mother's one evening. It's been about... Oh, it was around the first week of February, something like that. 
I dropped off my grandbabies. Well, I came home. There was a bat about this big and about that wide stuck at the side of my house, upside down, alive. I was like, that's just freaking weird, man. There's a bat right at the eve of my house, just hanging there. I'm like, that's strange. So, you know, told my mom about it. She's like, ah, things happen, you know. But I didn't think that after that, I just thought, well, that's weird. Come find out that corona thing come from somebody eating a dead bat or something. Who the crap eats bats, man? Besides Ozzy Osbourne. Not that that was BS too, but you know, just saying. I don't know. I just don't want to go through this life being uh, walking in a Bible. I think people need to wake up. Look around. Things are strange, man. I'm not kidding. And if you're not looking for it, you won't see it. You can stay in your little box and miss everything else out here. You know, there's a lot of people do that, too. But I do think there's a lot of things about to be different. But whatever it is, we got it, right? We can handle it made it this far and I think that that flu thing I think it does get put out into into the environment sure does has to if everybody gets sick at the same you know at the same time every year you know we go through allergy season and then you go through hay fever and all that, you know, it's always something. But I, don't, I ain't never seen them close down the country, the world, ever. And another thing that you need to check out is uh, the star that it talks about, or the planet, or whatever it is, um, in Revelations that it talks about that's called Wormwood, has made its appearance in space. And yes, they call it Wormwood. You need to check that out. Look it up. Yeah. Go to NASA.org or something like that, you know, and you'll see what I'm saying. It's all falling into place. Every bit of it. And some people want to see it, and some people want to stay asleep all the time. It's all they do is sleep. I mean, that's the way I've noticed everybody's, that's what they want. I honestly think that's the way the government wants it. They want everybody all drugged up, out of it, where they can just do what they want to. And I think the drugged up part's been around for a long time. And uh, you need to look up the Pizzagate deal. Look at it. That'll blow your mind. Yeah, and a lot of things that people was trying to say was a lie is actually the truth. And I'm going to throw this out there. I'll probably get murdered for bringing it up, but anyway. Um, when George Bush Sr. died, and they're at the funeral, you've got... Trump and Melania, Obama and his old lady, and um, the Clintons, and uh, Biden and his old lady. You know, you got the whole group of them. Then on the other side, you got uh, the other President Bush and his brother and their mom standing there. They all receive an envelope. The envelope ended up saying, which they hid it, nobody knew for a long time what it meant, but it said they got it all. In other words, proof of all the lies, all the BS that that group of people was throwing out. And all the ones, every one of them, 
that received the envelope, which Trump did not, neither neither did um, or neither did Melania. Neither one of them got an envelope, but the rest of them did. And um, a lot of them was in shock because I think that goes back to the Epstein deal. If you want to check that out, look that up for yourself. I have to kind of be careful because they may not let me talk about certain things on here, you know. But there's just so much to all this that's going on. I do know that um, there was some kind of deal made between President Trump and Kim Jong-un before the corona thing, a couple weeks before that. Then bam. Have you noticed a lot of the diseases that we have come from China? Really? Look that up too. It's true. Anyway. Well, there's a guardian walking this way out of this whole freaking park. I mean, just out of the blue. You know what I'm saying? What you say? what I'm saying. Everywhere I go. Everywhere. Gotta walk right behind my car. And he was way over there. When a guardian shows up, that's letting me know I need to get off the phone, I guess. <laughs> but, um, I'm out of here, okay? Check out some of the things I told you about and watch the little clips I'm gonna add to this. And you'll see what I'm saying about, um, just if you go out in public, whenever they do open the gates and everybody gets to go back to what they was doing, you know, and all that stuff, be careful. I'm not joking about that. Please be careful. Still try and use the social distancing thing if you can. I do that every day. That's the truth. I really do. I just I don't like being in big crowds of people. That's just me, though. But still use the hygiene thing, you know, washing your hands and all that stuff. Don't be handing the doorknobs just because it's okay to go back out, and, you know, with everybody they still are going to have germs and stuff. So, just be careful, okay? And I do think that if it, if the corona thing does leave, have no fear. It will be back. It really will. If it's bacterial, it always returns. That's why, look at it this way. One other thing, and then I'll let you go. They can give you medicine... For example, if you have the flu, okay, they can give you medicine, help ease a cough and all this stuff. If they can take care of the symptoms, then they should be able to come up with the cure, don't you think? I really believe that. If you can treat the symptoms, then you can make a cure. What's the problem? I mean, you know, got all these scientists and all this stuff. They already figured that out already. And I really think that they already have cure for cancer. I really do. And the only reason that uh, they brought it forth is because they make too much money with cancer. Honest. I, I really believe that. Because it's like guess in this day and time, they can take a person's heart out of their body, work on it, stick it back in them, and then they start pumping and that person get up and walk away. But they can't cure a common cold, now give me a freaking break here. So I mean, anyway, 
I can run my mouth all day. But I'm glad you stopped in so I could chat with you a few minutes. And I will be uh, finishing up my disciple videos. This is taking a break for a couple of days, you know, where it was Easter and everything. But I will be back into that. I am doing James next. The brother of Jesus. That's my next disciple. Anyway, I will holler at you guys later. And I really hope you have a great evening. And don't forget to watch the clips I'm adding, okay? And do the research I told you to look all that up. It'll blow your mind. I'm telling you. There's so much that was uh, that has been put right in front of us. I see it now. But before, I didn't notice it. Just like you guys didn't either. But it's going to blow your mind. Anyway. I love you guys. Have a great evening. And wash your hands. So I saw this on TikTok. I had to use it. It's a small, medium, large. No way. No way. Wait. Come on. Come on, McDonald's. Are you kidding me? We've been getting got this whole time. So by the end of this video, you're really going to start to question what is really going on in this world. Wait till the end. 15th of January 2020, the US and China sign a fair trade agreement committing China to spend $200 billion on products out of the US. China wasn't very happy about this. During the same time, a virus has broken out in China and China's talking about it. Not much happening. But just after that, massive breakout. Hmm. People start to panic and lose their shit. In the panic, we clean out the shops. And the stock markets are crushing! But one guy we know has a big grin. And somebody else is buying all the stocks. China! Because China's back to normal. Production's up. China wins. What is that? Looks like a piece of plastic. What the f That's a snake. That's a baby snake. You see the eyes right there? I just learned this from Shane Dawson's new video and I'm shook. Like, what the fuck? Okay, so you go to your settings. Uh, then you press control center. Control center. Customize controls. Scroll down, hearing, hearing, at that. Okay, then you put your AirPod on, AirPods, whatever. And you get the ear thingy down there. You press that, you press live listen. Once it turns on, you can hear everything. Everything through your AirPod. You leave your phone in a room. Go to another room and you can hear what people are talking in the room that your phone is in, loud and clear, and they don't know about it. So now, you know, you can spy on your boyfriend, you can spy on your friends, you can do whatever with this information. You're welcome.
you, John Podesta.